Hi everybody, it's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video today. Today's video is called How to Stop a Cat from Urinating in the House. You know, this video is kind of a part two to another video I did for my channel called How to Stop a Cat from Urinating on the Bed. I got thousands of views on that video and so many of you commented and gave me really specific feedback about what your cat was doing and it ended up being a full blown conversation in the comments section with several people about what particular things their cat was doing and when they were peeing on the bed and how, when they're not peeing on the bed. We had a whole discussion about it. And what happened was I ended up doing more and more research to try to help each of these people with the specific thing that their cat was doing. And so what I did was I decided I need to make a part two of this video because now I've learned so, so much more, which I wish I could go back and insert in that video, but obviously I can't. So I thought I'm going to do a part two. I'm going to cover this issue in far more detail. So that's what today's video is. Yesterday, I wrote a nice article for my website that includes the 10 reasons why your cat won't use the litter box. And I have learned so much more since since the last video and I'm so happy to share it on my blog post for my website and I'm so happy to be able to go over these things for you today in this video. So again, thanks so much for watching. I'm so sorry that you're having this problem with your cat peeing in the house, no matter where they're peeing, whether it's on the bed, the furniture, on the carpet. Uh, I hope that by the end of today, you will have some um, solutions to this. Now also in the video, I'm going to give you um, two resources for cat training. One of them is called UltimateCatSecrets.com. They are the cat training program that I have always recommended on my website. And I, me I mentioned that in the last video. But I have come across a new cat training program that covers a lot of issues. And I'm pretty impressed with it. So I'm going to give you a link to those in the description box. And I'm also going to just talk about that a, a little bit towards the end of the video so that you can go on and get some more help with this issue. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, if you've been here before, you know that I own this website called PeopleLovingAnimals.com. It's all about the care, health, support, and training of dogs and cats. And we're going to use this article that I mentioned that I wrote yesterday called How to Stop a Cat from Urinating in the House, 10 Reasons Why Your Cat Won't Use the Litter Box. And again, this is an accumulation of everything I've learned so far a lot because of the your help in giving me comments and having the conversations with me on the last video. So I'm really, like I said, I'm really glad to share this information with you. Um, and like I always say, I'm going to give you the link uh, to this article in the description box. So don't try to read as we go along. I'm just using the article to keep me on track so we can cover these 10, these 10 reasons why your cat won't go in the litter box. But you'll be able to go and read this article later on if you choose to. I'm just going to bring me up just a little bit so I, I'm, I'm here with you, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, this this issue, I mean, uh, well, you know, like I said uh, in the last video, cat urine is like one of the worst things. It really is. It's it's a terrible smell. It's, it's really, really hard to clean up. It, it's really hard to get ahead of. And, and uh, anyway, I hope I can help you today. Now, the best way to learn how to stop a cat from urinating in the house is to understand why they're doing it to begin with. And that's kind of what today's focus is. Why are they doing this? So we're going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to, I'm going to offer you 10 reasons why they might be doing it. And we're going to talk about solutions to that as well. Um, we're going to talk about several possible reasons why your cat isn't using the litter box and what you can do to solve it. And I'll also give you additional resources at the end of the video for two different cat training programs. Why do cats urinate outside the litter box? The first step in figuring out why your cat won't use the uh, litter box is to rule out two things. One is urine marking and the other is a medical condition. Um, have your cat checked out by a veterinarian first. If it's determined that your cat doesn't have a medical condition, then you can go on with these steps and try to figure out other reasons why your cat is having a problem using the litter box. Urine marking, uh, we're going to talk about um, in number nine in the list today. We're going to talk a little bit more about what that is. And it, it's kind of a separate topic because it's kind of a separate thing other than why your cat isn't choosing to use the litter box. We're going to get to that in, in number nine on our list today. So 
Number one, there may be a conflict between multiple cats in your home. I personally have had two cats sharing a litter box for years with no problems. However, that isn't always the case. So this can be a really kind of an easy first step. If you have multiple cats in the home, even if you've had multiple cats for a while, you might have two cats that have used the same litter box for five years. Now all of a sudden somebody's peeing on the rug. It could be they had some kind of a conflict. Honestly, it could be they had some sort of a fight. They had some sort of an altercation. And they're, they're no longer willing to share the litter box. But you know what? Don't spend a, make a career out of trying to figure it out. This is a very easy step one. If you have multiple cats in the house, give them each their own litter box. Put it in a separate location. Put one in place, one in, in his litter box. Place the other in her litter box. See if that solves the problem, okay? Number two, dislike for the type of litter box you're using or the litter itself. Most cats do not like litter box liners. A lot of cats don't like scented litter. A lot of cats don't like a hood um, or any kind of a cover on the litter box. Um, some cats don't like the litter box or the litter itself to be too deep. A good rule of thumb there is about two inches of litter is about as deep as it should get. You also might consider whether the litter box is too small for your cat. Your cat should be able to move around easily in the litter box. They should be able to um, get in and out of the litter box. Consider whether the sides of the litter box are too high for your cat. Um, also, some cats don't like self-cleaning litter boxes. Um, you know, those mechanical ones that kind of automatically scoop through and clean the litter box. That's great for us, but that can scare the crap out of your cat. I had a cat uh, that I bought one of those automatic litter boxes and it scared the crap out of her. She was so frightened by the litter box. And I think of it as, have you ever been to a restaurant or hotel where you go and you use the restaurant? room and they have one of those automatic flushing toilets and the thing flushes while you're still sitting on the toilet. I'm sorry, but that freaks me out. I cannot stand that. And that's kind of what I think of when I think of these automatic litter boxes. It's like, you know, they start up the second the cat steps out of the litter box. So it's just a freaky mechanical sound. And I'm just saying, if you have one of those, your cat just might not be liking that. Um, and like I say, other cats just don't like uh, scented litter, or they may just not like the litter that you're using. So it's another kind of simple thing to try. Try changing the litter, see if that makes them happy. Number three, this is a new one that I didn't realize in the first video, and I'm really happy to pass this information on. If your cat is declawed, even if it was years ago, a cat who has been declawed may have sensitive toes, or they may have actual pain in their toes, again, even years after they have been declawed. So you might consider switching to a soft cat litter. I'm going to give you a link to a, a soft cat litter. You can get it on Amazon. I'm going to give you the link in the description box and it's in this article to go ahead and get that. So again, this might be an easy solution. If your cat has been declawed, even if they were declawed years ago, you might try a soft cat litter. You can imagine if you have painful toes, and this might be true also of a cat who has arthritis. They may be having some pain. You know, scratching around in that scratchy cat litter. So you may try, go ahead and get them the soft cat litter, see if that might um, solve it. Now I'm going to give you a link for an article called What's the Best Litter for Declawed Cats? I uh, can't remember if it's from the ASPCA or if it's from PetMD, um, but I, I researched it a bit and I'm giving you the article. So if you do have a cat that's declawed and you think this might be the issue, you can get some more information on that topic in that article. Um, also, if your cat has developed a preference for peeing on surfaces such as carpet, bedding, or potting soil, this might be the problem. Now, this is how this came up because, you know, when I was researching, why is the cat peeing on the bed? Why is the cat peeing on the bed? For my last video, um, I, I found this out, that if they're declawed, it's painful for them to scratch around in the litter box. So they pee on the bed because it's soft or the couch or your chair, it, you know, um, it might be the reason, okay? So just keep that one in mind. Number four, dislike for the location of the litter box. You know, kids are generally far more sensitive than people realize. You know, they really are. They can get frightened easily. They can get stressed out easily. And, you know, I think that cats sometimes are considered tougher than they really are because if you scare a cat, they might rip your face off, you know, they are going to hiss and growl, but just because they're coming across so vicious doesn't mean they're not 
terrified. Do you know what I mean? So I think that cats kind of get more credit for being tough tougher than they actually are. They're, I think generally they're more sensitive than we think. Um, now keep in, in mind, we're talking about the location of the litter box, that this might be uh, particularly if you have an older cat. For example, if your litter box has always been in the basement, well, as your cat gets older, maybe she can't make her way down the basement stairs and back anymore. You know, you might want to consider that sort of a thing. Also remember that cats like privacy in general. If the location of the litter box is too exposed, this may be a deterrent for a sensitive kitty. Be careful to place the litter box in a location that is quiet but not cornered okay so they need to be off somewhere where it's kind of private but you can't have them cornered every time they're in the litter box because the dog runs by the kids run by the neighbor kids run over you and your husband have a fight whatever something happens and they're stuck in this corner and they can't escape that's another reason a cat will not go to a litter box if he feels cornered in it and again you got to always go back to the way the cat is feeling cats by their primal survival instincts do not like to be cornered. They do not like to be caught in the wild. Cats are prey. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So a cat doesn't like to go into a corner where there's no escape route, you know, especially if you have an active household, if you have a dog, you know, all these sorts of things. So just keep in mind, the cat wants a, a quiet place to pee, but she also wants to be able to bolt from that place if she needs to, okay? Um, in order to feel secure in their litter box, your cat needs to be able to see other people or uh, um, other pets approaching, and she also needs to have an escape route. Make sure your litter box is not in a high traffic area, that it isn't in a loud area. Like, for example, if you put your litter box next to your washer and dryer and your cat happens to be standing in that litter peeing, one day when the dryer starts up, the rinse cycle, you know how washers are really loud when they, they start the rinse cycle or whatever? Well, if that happens and your cat happened to be in the litter box, <laughs> you know, it, for a sensitive kitty, that might be an issue. And like I said, most cats are quite sensitive. So think about like where this litter box is. Um, and also make it easily accessible for your cat at all times. Like, for example, some people put a litter box in their bathroom. Well, that's fine, but anytime anybody's in the bathroom, the door's closed, the cat can't get to the litter box. Well, if she has enough instances where she's crossing her legs and somebody's in the bathroom and she can't get in the litter box, she's going to go around the house and look for someplace else to pee. Okay, so make sure that your cat's litter box is accessible to them at all times. Um, also, you might consider uh, don't put your cat's uh, food and water dishes near the litter box because most cats, animals in general, do not like to eat where they pee. Okay, so just again, consider the location of the litter box in these points in particular. Is there something your cat doesn't like about where that litter box is? Okay, number five, if the litter box isn't cleaned, I owned a cat for 20 years who would absolutely refuse to go in the litter box if it was not clean. Ideally, you should be scooping your litter box every day and changing the litter at least once a week where you dump the litter out, you wash out the litter box, and then you put fresh litter in once a week. All right, so that's ideally. So again, if you have a cat that's not going in the litter box, this might be the reason you're not keeping it clean enough. Cats are generally quite meticulous. Uh, you know, most cats keep themselves very clean. You know, they're, they're clean animals. So if there's a dirty litter box, it's not going to appeal to them, you know. Um, also, thinking in, if you have a cat with long fur, um, especially if that cat is getting older, you know, they might be having a more and more difficult time cleaning their hind end after they've peed or pooped. Do you know it's gross? But if that's becoming a problem for them where they can't stay clean, um, you might want to consider gently trimming the, the longer hair on your cat's behind to kind of give that cat, especially if they're getting older, they, they have arthritis, they can't quite reach anymore. They can't quite keep themselves clean. But keep in mind that the issue might be the cleanliness of the litter box, the cleanliness of them. Okay, so just consider that issue. 
Um, number six, uh, they have a negative association with the litter box. A common reason why your cat won't use the litter box is because something has happened to upset them while they were using the litter box. And I'm laughing a little because it's it's not funny, but it's it's like something upset the cat while she was in the litter box, you know. And again, it could be the washer and dryer situation. Um, if your litter box is in an open area, maybe the cat or the you know the dog ran by. Maybe the kids were fighting next to the litter box. Maybe something happened while your cat was in the litter box and now she's she thinks it's because she was in the litter box it happened there so she doesn't want to go back to the litter box again cats are more sensitive than we think if you feel that your cat is afraid of her litter box try moving the litter box to a different location again not where she's cornered and where she can escape easily you could also try changing the cat litter to a different brand it sounds kind of silly but if she's afraid of the litter box if you change the litter the litter box becomes a little different. You know, it might just be enough. It might just be enough to make her say, hmm, it's not the same place as it was before. Do you know what I mean? Try playing with your cat near the litter box, putting toys or treats near the box, not their food bowl, not their water bowl, because, you know, cats generally don't like to eat next to where they pee. But um, you might hang out with them near the litter box, play with them a little bit, put their toys next to the litter box so they realize, hey, this, this place where the litter box is, the litter box is not so scary, right? Um, another cause, a possible cause for your cat having a, a negative association of some sort with the litter box could be painful elimination, which leads us to number seven, which is a medical condition. If your cat has something like a urinary tract infection or a bladder infection, for example, it would be painful for them to pee. And then the cat may decide that that has something to do with the litter box. I had a cat, uh, I talked about it in my last video, uh, after 14 years, years of her using the litter box faithfully, she all of a sudden started peeing on my bath mat. I took her to the vet. Turned out she had a bladder crystal that had to be surgically removed. Now, your cat's medical condition may not be that serious. It could be something as simple as a urinary tract infection. But my vet told me because she had that, it hurt to pee. Now, if you've ever had a urinary tract infection, you know that it burns when you pee. Okay, it's the same thing for a cat. Well, in a cat's mind, she thinks it has something to do with the litter box. That's what my cat, that's what my vet said. She's having this medical issue. It hurts when she pees. She thinks it has something to do with the litter box. So that's why she's looking for other places in the house to pee where it doesn't hurt. Again, this is a cat. This is not a person. They aren't as smart as us. They can't reason, think things through like we do, you see? Um... So if your cat is experiencing painful urina urination, uh, then this might be something that is causing them not to want to use the litter box. And that's why I said at the very beginning of this video, if your cat is not using the litter box, please take them to the vet. It's not a big deal. They'll feel around. They'll feel their bladder. They'll do a simple urinalysis. They'll make sure the cat's not having a medical issue. Because, you know, these medical issues can be pretty serious and very painful and very uncomfortable for your cat. And plus, just, you know, you don't want your cat peeing all over the house. So you've got to get it corrected. So the medical condition is um, pretty, pretty important that you get that checked out if that's a, you think that's a possibility. Okay. Number eight is stress. Um, cats can get stressed out by things that we wouldn't necessarily see as stressful. Urinating around the house could be a symptom of stress. I'm going to give you a link to my article called Cat Stress Relievers, 10 Things That Stress Your Cat Out. On my YouTube channel, I did a video for that, and I think it's called something like Why Your Cat is a Nervous Wreck. But in that article, I go over 10 different things that could be stressing your cat out. And again, you might be surprised by some of those. So um, go ahead and watch that video. And just as a general rule, you should know those things anyway. So when you get time, go ahead and watch that video and see if your cat might be um, having some stress over, over things, okay? Number nine is urine marking. Um, this is also known as spraying. And it's not just for male unneutered cats. It's most common in a male unneutered cat, but they aren't the only ones that will spray. A cat who is urine marking may regularly use the litter box, but also pee in other locations. When marking, they usually back up to a vertical surface like a wall or the back of a chair. They put their tail straight up in the air and they spray urine. And sometimes their tail will kind of wiggle back and forth while they're spraying. 
Um, the urine marking is a territorial issue. It can also be a mating issue um, where cats, you know, like an unneutered male, he's looking to to mate. It can be a mating issue, but for the most part, it's a territorial issue. Uh, male cats tend to do this. It's also referred to as spring, but all cats can do it for various reasons, such as having multiple cats in the household, a change of some sort, like if you move to a new house, if you have a baby, if you get a new pet, if you get married, you bring somebody new into the house. If there's a conflict with another pet in the house, again, your pets may have lived happily for years, but if they've had some sort of conflict, somebody might get territorial, somebody might get upset. Set. Somebody might refuse to share the litter box with them anymore. You know, these multiple cat situations or even multiple pets can be an issue. And that could be why your cat is uh, urine marking. So I'm giving you an article called Urine Marking in Cats. I'm quite sure that one's from the, uh, the ASPCA. And I'm going to give you that article because it's quite extensive and it has quite a bit of information on this urine marking. And if you think that this might be the issue with your cat, like a territorial issue, please go in and click on that and read that article because it's quite extensive and it gives you a lot of information for solutions as well. So again, for the sake of our video today, realize, again, this might be a problem. You know, if it's multiple cats, you could do separate uh, litter boxes if they're having conflicts, all these sorts of things that all kind of play, plays in together, right? Um, and again, if you have an unneutered male cat who is, you know, leaning, you know, backing up against the wall, peeing all the time, he is spraying. Um, and I think your vet would agree with me. The best thing to do is to get the cat neutered. Um, you know, if again, if you have an unneutered male cat that's peeing all over the house, that could be it. And your vet would probably say you need to get the cat neutered. Okay, so... Uh, that's another thing. The last one, number 10, is the cat just simply isn't trained to use the litter box. Um, now, your cat may not have been taught either by its mother or by its previous owner how to use the litter box. You can show your cat how to do it by carrying your cat to the litter box when you see they're starting to pee. When you see them starting to pee, pick them up, set them in the litter box. Also, place the cat in the litter box often. Once they get used to it, they'll usually start digging around in the litter Cats and kittens will generally eventually pee while they're in the litter box. If you're setting them in there all the time, they'll eventually pee while they're in there. When they do, give gentle and quiet praise. And then you might, this is kind of gross, but I'm going to make the suggestion because I think it's quite effective. You might use your finger to cover up their poop or pee if they don't do it. Now, if you have a cat that pees in the litter box and then doesn't cover it up, your cat might fall into this number 10 because that's a skill they learn from their mother to go pee and then cover it up. If they haven't learned this, they don't do it. So if you have a cat, like I say, that goes and pees in the litter box, like, that's weird. Why doesn't he cover it up? Don't cats usually cover it up? Yeah, you might have a cat that needs a little, a little litter box training, right? So you might take your finger and go ahead and cover it up. You're kind of showing the cat. Yet. And if you do that enough times, um, do it a few times, they'll realize that they should do this. So if you're uh, litter box training kittens, for example, uh, you just keep setting them in the litter, setting them in the litter, setting them in the litter. Now, if you have a young cat or a kitten, sometimes they'll play in the litter. Sometimes they'll roll around in the litter. Uh, sometimes they'll start eating the litter, you know, but the whole point is get the cat in the litter box, get them used to the litter box, make it a pleasant experience for them. And then, oops, they peed in the litter box. They'll eventually pee in the litter box. When they do, give them quiet and gentle praise for doing it and make it a pleasant experience for them. And you may have to, like I say, teach them how to use the litter box. Now, hang with me because I've got a little bit more information that's going to help you. Um, get ahead of this. If your cat pees anywhere in the house, it's important to get it solved quickly so that they don't make a habit of peeing in that spot or they're just, you don't want them to have the habit of going anywhere but in their litter box, right? Um, you can treat the area right away with a product called Nature's Miracle. I'm going to link it for you. You can get it cheap on Amazon. It's an enzymatic cleaner designed to neutralize pet odors. Eliminating the odor will discourage your cat from urinating in that spot again. And again, I'm going to give you a link to this. So wherever your cat has peed, spray it with this product. Follow the directions. I think you need to leave it on for a few minutes and get rid of the odor and that's going to help. You also might try making the inappropriate elimination area wherever they peed, make it unappealing for them to go back 
back there. Number one, treat it with the nature's miracle. Get rid of the odor. Try putting a light in a usually dark area or even installing a motion activated light. Like for example, if your cat is going into a dark closet to pee, put a light in there. Go to the dollar store, get out, get one of those little cheap lights and put it in there. It's not a dark corner anymore. You know, um, also you might make the surface unpleasant wherever they peed by like if they're peeing on a throw rug, you can remove the throw rug. You can turn it upside down. If you have a carpet runner, um, carpet runners will sometimes have the pricklies on the back. You could flip it over. Your cat's going to not be happy camper about that. She's not going to go and stand on that. You could also um, place tin foil. Just put some tin foil on the area. The cat's not going to want to walk on tin foil. And you can also use double-sided sticky tape in the area where your cat peed. So again, make the area where they peed a, kind of unpleasant for them to go back to where it's, it's not going to develop a habit where that's where they pee. Okay, now I promised you a couple of resources for cat training. One of them I mentioned in the other uh, video called UltimateCatSecrets.com. If you go under the cat training uh, playlist of my um, YouTube channel, you're going to see I recommend them a lot. It's a 12-part audio program, and I've always been very impressed with it. Because it covers not only cat training, but it covers pretty much everything you need to know about taking care of a cat. And I just think it's a very thorough program, and uh, I recommend that. The other one that is fairly new that I'm doing some research on, but I'm impressed with it so far, is the Complete Cat Training Guide. This is actually an ebook. I'm going to give you the link to this. It's from a, a place called KingdomofPets.com. It's a downloadable ebook that is jam packed with information on how to solve 25 real life cat behavior problems. It includes the best cat training techniques and step-by-step -step instructions. Now I'm giving you a link to both of these. Both of these are $37 and they both come with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're having an um, issue with your cat, whether it's, you know, peeing outside the litter box, biting, scratching, uh, they won't use a scratching post if they're tearing up your furniture, whatever your, um, your issues are with behavior with your cat, I highly recommend one of these programs to go ahead and give it a try and see if you can get some help. Like I say, they're only $37 and they both come with a 100% money back guarantee. Be patient with your kitty. Oh, this, this picture. Oh, look at the little sweetie. It's like he's embarrassed. Oh, I love that picture so much. Be patient with your cat. Remember that cats are highly intelligent animals. Whatever they're doing, they are most likely doing it for a very logical reason. Don't take offense by this, but guess what? It's you that can't figure it out. It's you that can't figure it out. You're like, well, look, my cat's an idiot. He won't pee in the litter box. There's a reason why. There's a reason why the cat has made the decision not to pee in the litter box. And it's our job as pet owners to figure out why. We're the thinking ones. We're the adults here, okay? So we're the ones that have to figure it out. Um, it's our job as pet owners to figure out the reasons for our pet's behavior and how to solve it. And I hope that these tips have helped you. Couple more things before we go. For more help with cat peeing, I'm going to give you the links to more articles on my website. Each of them has a video how to get your cat to use the litter box, how to stop your cat from peeing on the carpet, how to stop your cat from urinating on the bed, and how to remove cat uh, urine from the carpet. So you can go ahead and, and read those articles, watch those videos if you want some more information. Couple more things before we go. If you've been here before, you know I donate to animal charities. I am an affiliate for not all, but some of the products and services that I recommend on my website and on my YouTube channel, I'm an affiliate for. So if you click on my links and you purchase these products, I get a small commission and I donate 10% of all of those commissions to animal charities. If you go to the uh, homepage of my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, you'll see a list of the animal charities that I donate to. A uh, couple more things in the description box. I'm going to give you a link to this article. I'm going to give you a link to all of the products and services and cat training, um, everything that we talked about in the article. And I'm also going to give you a link to go ahead and subscribe to my cat lovers email list. If you subscribe about once a week, you will get an email from peoplelovinganimals.com and it'll be all about cats. It'll be about cat health, cat care, um, uh, health insurance for cats 
cats, medications for cats, and all kinds of cat training issues, I would love to have you on board as a subscriber. Um, when you subscribe to that email list using the link in the description box, I'll give you a free little um, booklet about um, stopping bad cat behavior. It's just a, uh, a little free ebook that might help you with some issues. And I'll give that to you as the free gift for subscribing. Speaking of subscribing, if you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, I would love to have you on board. I do a video just about once a week, sometimes more often. Again, all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats. Um, please share the channel with your friends and family who have pets for two reasons. One is because it has lots and lots of videos, lots and lots of articles to help people with the issues that they deal with, with their dogs and their cats, and also because every purchase that is made uh, 10% of the commissions that I get go to animal charity. So I would love to have you on board to continue to help and support animals. So I hope so much that this has helped. I hope that you'll comment in the in the comment section. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what things work. Please give suggestions for other people. If any of these or a brand new suggestion that I haven't made yet works for you, please put it in the comment section so that we can all read these comments and we can all learn from this and we can all get this problem solved so that our cats are not uh, making us unhappy by peeing where they shouldn't, okay? And, you know, your cat might be suffering. They might be suffering with one of these issues. So we want it to be better for your cat as well. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that I have helped. My name is Deborah, and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.